Hi, I'm Misha from Once Upon a Kingdom Theater, and this is my final review of a theater exchange with Solo Theater, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. We met with Solo Theater a while back, about a year ago, in Washington, D.C. at a Russian theater festival, and we got to know each other pretty well and eventually, and eventually we became friends. This year, we invited them here to Ottawa for a theater exchange. They stayed here for a week, and we showed our place, and we learned a lot from each other. So there are a couple things that I've noticed about this exchange that uh, helped me and everyone else as an actor. Each theater has its own style, so it's always interesting to see the other group's point of view on how to make a play. For example, you take one story and then you take two different theaters and tell them to make a play out of that story. It's really amazing because those two plays will probably end up being completely different and it's just that one story and that's really cool because there's so many things you can do with just one, one story but even though our plays are completely different stories you can still tell that you know our point of view is different from theirs and vice versa. I, def I definitely think that these kinds of exchanges should happen a lot more often because I find that theater is kind of dying down these days you know, because people, they have computers, they go to the movies, uh, play video games. And even a couple decades ago, theater was something people enjoyed, but it's not as much anymore. And I find it should be brought back, because with those computers and everything, I find people are largely missing out on uh, the beauty of theater, and it's something you would find in nowhere else but theater. And it's something that should be brought back, and I think that these kinds of theater exchanges are a really good way of doing that. So during the exchange, um, our theater and solo theater, we, pres uh, we showed our shows to each other, and this is my review of their show, The Flying Ship. I enjoyed the show very much, and actually that made me think twice about how I feel towards musicals and comedies. A lot of the shows that I've seen lately are those that don't have much of a message behind them and that appeal to those who don't necessarily want to do much thinking. And a lot of those happen to be musicals and comedies, and eventually I started to dislike those genres. I thought that musicals were boring and comedies were just stupid jokes with no story behind them. However, I was proven wrong after watching The Flying Ship. And I have to say, I've never been so happy to have been proven wrong. As our theater is certainly not as musical-y as solo theater, it was nice to see them incorporating something that we never really got to do. The music and humorous moments did not occur too often, just enough to add a little special touch while still maintaining the story and message. However, although I was de very much delighted by the singing and the music, I found that the dance movements were a little too... um modernized and didn't quite fit the atmosphere and the plot, which was set centuries ago in, in Russia. The way the actors told the tale, though, was amazing. They really made the audience feel whatever was supposed to be felt. Laughter during humorous moments, tears during sad moments. You know you failed when the audience laughs during a tragedy, and this was far, far, far from that. The actors filled the stage with all the energy and delivered that energy to the audience. The opposition created between um, Zababa, the Tsar's daughter, and the Tsar and Polkan, it was truly good versus evil, the Tsar and Polkan being evil in every way possible, though the, uh, th through the acting and costume and speech, and Zababa, Ivan, and Zababa's friends made good in every way possible, although with a touch of playfulness and liveliness, you know. Um, the decorations also played a really big role in creating the atmosphere. In the beginning of the play, the tall decorations looked like a stand with green rays that were very general and at first may seem um, have, to have nothing to do with the play itself, but then at the end they come together very beautifully. On the reverse side were dark and brown branches. Uh, they could be seen through the fabric if a light was behind them. This helped set the mood for the sea, sea monster man scene, as he is underwater in a dirty and dark and gloomy place. At the very end, two of the stands with the branches facing the audience were formed in an um, arrow shape. They were placed horizontally with the arrow pointing towards the audience. 
like the walls of a ship, and then two stands with the sun facing the audience were put vertically next to each other behind the arrow. And that made it seem like the ship was slowly sailing away from the distant sunset. And overall that scene was very emotional and very touching, and Solo definitely ended their play on a very strong note. Ищем, ищем и теряем.